Hi, I'm Johnny Green with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. We're here in Las Vegas at the International Builder Show, and I'd like to tell you about an exciting project that we have here. We've done a 3D printed house and a 3D printed car at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. And um, so why don't you uh, come on inside and let me show you a little bit more about what it's all about. So follow me. So we're inside the house. This is all 3D printed. So if you look at the wall here, you can see the beads of, from the 3D printer. And what is 3D printing? 3D printing is uh, very similar to inkjet printing. It's a next step from that. So instead of ink, you've got a material that you print out and layer. So this is the material that we use. It's a uh, uh, plastic, uh, it's 80% plastic like Lego blocks and it's 20% carbon fiber so that's one way to think about it and so we take this material we heat it up and then we we squirt it out with our large 3D printer, the printer is about 20 feet long, 8 feet wide and 6 feet high and we, we made these sections so we've got uh, several C sections that we printed and clamped together to make this house uh, the house was designed by SOM, uh, International Architecture Firm, um, and we printed this out at Oak Ridge uh, in about a month. We printed all of these pieces here in about a month, and we went to Clayton Holmes, another one of our partners, and they assembled it in their warehouse over another one. Now, one of the interesting and innovative things that we have here in this, this house is uh, what's called a vacuum insulated panel. And you may be saying, what's a vacuum insulated panel? Well, it's, what's really cool about vacuum insulated panels is that they have very high insulation properties. So, so one inch of this is equivalent to seven inches of fiberglass insulation. So basically, in this behind this wall here, we have this insulation, which is you can bend and it can go up into the curves. And in this one inch cavity, we have an R value of 35, where if you just had traditional insulation, you'd have, only have an R value of five. Or you would have to have a seven inch thick wall to have the same insulation value. So Nanocore um, developed this technology. Also, another thing about this, this structure is there's no framing, there's no sticks to frame this, so the enclosure and the structure are one. So another great thing about uh, Amy, the Additive Manufacturing Integrated Energy Project that we've done here at Oak Ridge is we also made this uh, so there would be a micro living, micro housing concept. So we've got a micro kitchen from GE First Build. So it has a stove top, it has a sink, it has a refrigerator, uh, it's got some storage space here. It also has an uh, entertainment unit here as well where you can, you know, look at uh, TV or other things. Um, we also have a, a heating and cooling system. Um, we have lighting. We have uh, thermostat controls as well. So we even have um, a bed in the unit. So you can even live in here if you needed to. So this is the building from uh, the Amy project. Um, and so now let me show you the vehicle. Okay, so for all you car enthusiasts out there, here's our 3D printed car. And some of you may be saying, this doesn't look 3D printed, but it really is. So I'll prove it to you. Let me, uh, let me take you over here. So very similar to what we saw in the house, you can see the beads that show how layer by layer we printed this up. So this frame is 3D printed, and so is this body. This body, is also 3D printed, but uh, the surface has been treated and sanded by True Design, another one of our industry partners, to make it look like a finished product. But behind this, 
It's, it's the same material that you see here. Now, let me take you to the other side of the vehicle and show you another interesting feature. So, this vehicle has uh, natural gas uh, storage tanks. Um, and it was uh, donated by one of our industry partners, Hexagon Lincoln. It also has a uh, battery from Johnson Controls as well. And what we can do is you fill up the natural gas storage tanks, um, the compressed natural gas. It goes to an internal combustion engine generator. The generator produces electricity. That electricity goes to the battery. And then the battery can uh, go to the electric uh, drivetrain and power the vehicle. So this is a 3D printed hybrid electric vehicle. And so what, uh, what you can do then, and I'll take you to the back and show you uh, what else you can do with this fantastic vehicle. And so once your battery is fully charged, you can come home, come into your garage, and you can drive over this wireless charging pad. So at Oak Ridge, we developed this wireless charging technology, and so you could park your car with a full battery and then wirelessly you could send power from your car battery to the house or if it made sense to do it the other way we've got solar panels on the house we also have a battery inside the house as well you could send power from the house to the car hands-free without any wires and so what we really want to do with this concept is to talk about how can we share and use energy differently in our communities. So, you know, could the vehicles that we use while they park, could they power our buildings? Could our buildings power our car? What's the, what's the best way to optimize and use the resources that we have available today for a more sustainable future? So, I thank you for uh, joining me on this tour and uh, hope you can come uh, visit us here today at uh, the International Builder Show in Las Vegas. And, uh, come see Amy for yourself. Thanks a lot. Take care.